ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, the prediction show. Now, last week we had the pre-show for UAW Brutality where we saw the contract signing for the Undisputed United States Championship match between Gavin the Perjurer and Kurt Adams. And, you know, we saw Gavin the Perjurer put Kurt Adams through a table. Now, you got to wonder... If that going into the match could change how Kurt Adams goes into that match or not, who do you see winning this match, uh, Riley? Well, um, you know, I see Kurt Adams winning this match um, because, all right, me knowing Kurt Adams, all right, I mean, let's face it, I've been in a match with Kurt Adams many, plenty, bountiful times. And every time I fight him, he's just like, he's just like a cockroach. Comes right back, comes right back. So anything you do to him, like Gavin and Perger, putting Kurt Adams through a table, it's just going to make him want to come right back. More angry, more vicious, more violent than ever. And I think Gavin and Perger is going to crush all under the pressure of standing toe-to-toe with Kurt Adams especially a more addicted more reason to fight Kurt Adams if you get what I'm saying yeah and, and sorry for cutting you sorry for uh, not introducing you ladies and gentlemen this is the brutality prediction show we are joined by the one and only Riley Bates how are you ladies and gentlemen my name is the one and only Riley Bates the fallen star Riley Bates the Pepsi drinking Riley Bates and that fourth wall breaking Riley Bates happy to be here uh, sorry for not giving you that proper introduction before we got into the predictions, but, you know, I've got to go with the hometown hero in this match, Gavin the Perger, because honestly, you never know what Captain Law is going to do. He's the special guest referee in this match, and that's that true. Everything. He could come out here as a. and be 100% impartial, or he could let his bias get to him. You know, he's tag-teamed with Kurt Adams in the past. He's faced Gavin the Perger in the past. He brought Gavin the Perger back to UAW, got him to re-sign his contract. So, you know, I honestly, I don't think I have a prediction for this match. I, I'm going to stick down the middle and say I don't know because of that wild card with the referee. You know, I'm going to say something right here right now. I just realized that Captain Law is a special guest ref. And I will say, me knowing Captain Law, or seeing Captain Law, he's he's done some really weird shit. Don't know if I can cuss on here or not, but he's, he's done some really weird shit. And all I got to say is if Captain Law interferes in this match, you got to wonder... Whose side, first of all, whose side is he going to be on, for one? And for two, who is he going to piss off, Gavin the Perjurer or Kurt Adams? Indeed, like I said, that that wild card is the special guest referee. Uh, That's why I didn't pick a a winner for this match. Uh, And, you know, that, that brings us to the main event. Uh, which is a, speaking of wild cards, a death match, which is this will be the first ever death match UAW has experienced. We will see Captain Law, speaking of the devil, after he's done refereeing that match, taking on a mystery opponent that was assigned by the anonymous general manager. Now, we've only heard from this mystery opponent once, and that... And that what we got from that was that he was going to pay Captain Law to travel and face him. So could this be someone we've seen on UAW before? Could this be someone brand new to the backyard scene? Could this be someone that we never expected to ever show up on a UAW screen? Now, what do you what do you think is gonna happen in this match? Well, um, knowing Captain Law's odds with mystery opponent, I think mystery opponent is going to be Captain Law, whoever it may be. I mean, 
Who knows? It might be Kurt Adams, even though he already had a match. Not likely, but you never know. Uh, it could be uh, somebody from the East or West Coast from the big BYW groups coming down to uh, fight Mr. Law to uh, at the show. Or it could be, um, you know, hell. It could be fucking nobody. And he's tricking us thinking that it's somebody. And, you know, he just wins the match, beats himself up and wins the match. That'd be I mean, funny as fuck, you know. That'd be very we've funny as fuck. Some, we've seen some crazy things happen here in the UAW, and you know, with the ending of MEBW rather recently, you never know. A lot of those people are free agents now. We we could see the debut of Jack Delta in UAW or Matt Thunder. You know, you right. be Maximus Roman to you know crossing over. The pond. It could be somebody from CHW, or someone from uh, the the Australian wrestling company. It could be somebody from either VTW, uh, NUW, uh, DBW. You know, something, something W. You never know. Like anybody could come out here and fight Captain Law. All I'm saying is the mystery opponent. We'll beat Captain Law because Captain Law's odds against mystery opponent, ooh, don't really favor Mr. Law there. Indeed, you're right. Last time we saw Captain Law go for the world championship in a match against a mystery opponent, that was where the debut of Caden Rattana in UAW happened, and he, he walked away from the victory in the, the King of the Mountain match. You know, a UAW specialty, and... You know, Caden walked away with the victory, but I'm I'm gonna be in the same boat with you. I've got I've got the uh, mystery opponent in this match. You know, it's it's both Captain Law's odds plus that surprise shock factor from whoever the mystery opponent will be could could be what costs Captain Law the victory. But then again, you never know. Captain Law has been known to pull some stuff out of his back pocket. Uh, and walk away with a victory much against what other people thought much to the chagrin of the rest of the roster so um, let's run it back real quick in match number one we had Riley Bates predicting that Kurt Adams was going to walk away with the victory over Gavin the Purger thinking Gavin the Purger is going to crush under the pressure of such a high caliber match and I, as the commentator for UAW, had uh, no one in that match. I, I predicted it to be so unpredictable that I couldn't give you a prediction. That's a mouthful of a sentence. <laughs> Mr. Dr. Seuss over here. And then in the main event, we had, you know, uh, Riley predicting that the mystery opponent was going to win. And same with me. Uh, you gotta wonder again. I'm I'm completely uneducated as to who this mystery opponent could be. You know, last we heard from the mystery opponent, he said he was gonna pay Captain Law to travel. He's gonna send him some money. He was gonna send him some extra money to buy himself something nice because Captain Law was gonna need it to comfort him after the loss of the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, you know, when you when you tell someone you got to pay him to travel, obviously Captain Law, man of money, is going to take the money and run like a Steve Miller band song. So you you got to wonder, Riley. Um, any any final predictions before we we head out of here today? You know, with the uh, mystery opponent versus Captain Law, I'm actually going to give you who I think the mystery opponent is going to be. All right. Spoilers, just in case my prediction is right here. All right, spoilers. My prediction is the Macho Man Randy Savage is going to come back from the dead and he is going to punch Captain Law in his mouth, deliver an elbow drop, pay him to go to the World Wrestling Federation back in 1997, and... He's going, Captain Law is going to replace 
uh, fuck, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and they are going to fight in Madison Square Garden. That's my predictions. Thank you for watching. But hold on. If Captain Law replaces Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, then Captain Law walks out with a victory, doesn't he? You know, I haven't... Did Steamboat win that match? No, what, rem just for forget the drag the dragon steamboat there just it's macho man randy savage that's all i'm saying macho man randy savage come back from the dead hit the elbow drop to mr law knocks his lights out makes out miss elizabeth there we go night night show over your I'm winner the fucking booking fee on that one <laughs> uh, but you know, I'm going to give my final predict predictions as to who it is. I think it's going to be an SBW superstar. Because it's not the first time we've seen an SBW superstar on a UAW screen. That is true. That is true. So, anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've had predictions all over the board as to who is going to show up and be the mystery opponent. Everybody from the Macho Man Randy Savage to an SBW superstar all the way to someone from the long and past of MEBW. But ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching the prediction show for UAW Brutality. And we'll see you all March 29th at Brutality.